Hey everyone, I'm back, back in a normal way, forgetting about doing live streams that clearly doesn't work. I'm fanning about with cameras that clearly didn't work either. Um, so I'm going to stick to what I've been doing because um, that seems to work for me. Keep it simple, keep it easy, stick to what you know. And that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to talk about the um, match on Saturday, uh, which I was very fortunate to have been able to see. First game of the season for me, I wasn't able to go to the Southampton game due to a prior um, event that I was committed to. Um, so, yeah, first game, I felt like a like a teenager, all excited about getting back out there because it feels like forever since I've been to a football match, which is stupid, really, but it, it felt like that, very much so. Um, and excited because, obviously, winning the first game uh, as well as we did and then and grinding out that result against Chelsea, I had high hopes in my mind, I had us down as a 3-1 a win. That's what I was kind of hoping for. And clearly that wasn't what happened. We didn't we didn't get that, um, which is disappointing. Um, the, first, the first half, I have to say, was um, very dull. Um, it didn't feel like there was any momentum in the game. It felt very laboured, very slow. Wolves had a few opportunities. Um, nothing major, nothing really that you felt that we couldn't handle. Um, but it did feel a little bit like, oh, here we go again. This Is this going to be the game when we start to throw it away? Um, the good start that we've made. Um, but wasn't to, wasn't to be. The second half was, uh, was a lot better, uh, a lot more fluid. And uh, obviously, Harry Kane once again steps up. Edda, 250th goal for Spurs, uh, the most of any player in a Premier League or something for one club, which is, I think is fantastic. Takes him ahead of Aguero as well in terms of the overall Premier League standing of, of goal scorers. And of course, gives him um, two goals in August, which is, you know, um, a, a very rare uh, situation. So... It keeps us going and it keeps him, it keeps the momentum building for him, which I think is brilliant because, as I said in my last video, I wouldn't mind betting that we get Kane um, golden boot this season. I think he's he's probably um, inspired with the Conte um, appointment. He seems very, very happy at Tottenham, seems very happy um, with the progress that the, the club's making, the investment that they're putting in. Um, would suggest to him, I guess, that that we are trying to make something special happening, uh, happen rather, and and there is that feeling around the club. Now maybe we're all deluded, and maybe it's it's not going to be our time, and maybe it's not going to work for us, and maybe there's going to be a, a a better teams out there that are, you know, going to pip us to everything. But at this moment in time, you can only take it one game at a time. So I have to say. Um, Good to see a goal from a corner. Looked like it was worked on. Perisic uh, run short and flicked it on. And Harry Kane, after after sort of uh, fighting with the defender, basically stepped back and, and nutted it straight in. Great header, well controlled. Keeper had no chance. And to be fair, that was his third header of the game that he had on target. He won it the crossbar, the goalkeeper saved one, and then he scored one. So fantastic, really, because he, a lot of what Harry does seems to go under the radar. Until, unless he's scoring goals, it looks like he's really not doing anything. But for me, I think, you know, actually he'd had more opportunities than we perhaps felt live in the stadium. Perisic clearly has, has made a difference. I was surprised to see him coming because I I did think that he would stick with Sessegnon to give him some confidence back. Bear in mind he came off uh, in the Chelsea game, which may have hit him a little bit and made him feel a little bit disappointed. So I, I was expecting him to come back and he didn't. Again, I've not got an issue with that from a, from a personal point of view. I, I think Perisic... Uh, for this certainly for this season would be would be the man to have in there. I think he was bought to be in the team, uh, and maybe Cess will have to pick up a few more games, you know, in um, in the FA Cup and and uh, League Cup and those sorts of things. And maybe they'll just rotate it, depending on on how how they're playing and and so on and what he feels he needs, whether he feels he needs experience or not. For me personally, I felt that was the Chelsea game, but 
listen, Conte knows more about football than I'll ever know. So, and he knows his players, he's watching them training. He knows how to how to get the best out of those guys. So, yeah, so the, the only other change in the game was obviously Sanchez coming in, um, which we kind of knew was going to be the case. And again, it ended up with a clean sheet and a win. And um, he didn't particularly, you know, um, do anything bad, do anything wrong. He kept, kept it tight. And uh, and he maintains a decent you know set of stats uh, since Conte has come in, so maybe we should get off his back a little bit and just let the lad play. He's still a young guy, as well. Emerson again seemed to be uh, really did really well. No real issues, no real problems. He was um, pushing forward quite a bit getting himself uh, forward and, and trying to link up play. Kulisewski, a little bit better today than he was against against Chelsea, but maybe that's because they gave him a little bit more freedom to play. So that was good to see. The link up between those two seemed to be working. I do feel a bit for, for Sonny. I think he's getting a little bit of stick after two and a half games. I think it's a little bit unfair to say oh, he's got to come out and... He's not doing it very well. This guy won the Golden Boot last season and he didn't have his best performances last season, in my opinion. So I don't think you can write him off. He's not the sort of player you can you can write off. Maybe something's going on. Maybe he's not feeling it at the moment. But overall, his performance didn't look as bad. Not this time, not this game, in comparison to the Chelsea game where I felt he was really off the pace. Yes, uh, Saturday, I felt he was a lot more with it linking up he had a couple of opportunities he did it at the post um another opportunity he should have he should have tried to cross it rather than go for it but you know these these things happen so i think it's a bit unfair to say he needs to be dropped and so on there are lots of games to play this season there is a, a lot to get involved in and and it is right you know richarlison came on and he did really well he was very direct he had a couple of opportunities. He got in there. Um, he linked up play. He did bring a little bit of momentum to the game, which I thought was was much needed. He did get a he did get a, a lot of cheers and a lot of support from the home fans. Certainly where I was sitting, um, people felt that he he did okay. He, you know, he did did well on his his home debut. It's a shame he couldn't get that goal that would have killed the game off. But listen. A one one uh, a one nil against Wolves at home, a game we lost last season two nil. That's that's you know a decent result. Don't let the fact that Arsenal are scoring for fun at the moment overshadow the fact that we're doing all right. You know we're getting our results, we're grinding out results that we didn't get last season. We lost to Southampton last season, we lost to Chelsea last season, we lost to Wolves last season. We've played all of them now. We've got two wins and a draw. So, you know, you've got to let that get into your head. And bear in mind, we are not playing the best football that we've ever played. So even whilst not playing particularly um, great football, you know, push and run, all that kind of stuff, we are still getting a result at the end of it. And that's that's what we need to focus on. Let's not worry about what Arsenal are doing um, and how they're playing. Good for them. They're doing OK, scoring lots of goals. But let's see what happens. You know... I, it's hard not to sit and go, poor old West Ham slack at the bottom and have a loss and blah blah blah. But Arsenal lost their last three, their first three games last season, and they ended up battling with us for for the Champions League spot. So, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna write off anybody or, or make too many assumptions at this moment in time. Same for Man United, I'm not gonna make too many assumptions. You know, David Moyes and, and this West Ham team are not gonna just become. I'm going to say it shit overnight. Man United are not going to just drop off and, and not to be seen again. I wouldn't mind betting that today they'll do a um, they do a massive result against Liverpool. I hope it would surprise me after losing three games to, to churn out a good win against Liverpool. But you know we'll see. I, it might be it'll be a bit of a shock if they do, but it wouldn't surprise me to be honest. So I guess the I guess the point I'm making is. It's three games in. We've got better results to, against those teams than we did last season. It's early days. Let's not worry about what anyone else is doing. Let's not worry about Arsenal at the top. Let's not worry about Man United and West Ham at the bottom. You know, let's let's just focus on ourselves. 
and and ensure that we keep um, churning out these kind of results. So yeah, overall, I'm happy. Uh, like I say, wasn't the best game, but then we haven't played the best football yet, and I think that's to come. I think it's going to take time, but I think it's to come. I think the 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 team will settle and get um, will get a little bit more joined up as as the season goes on. We've got players to come back. We've got Skip to come back. We've got Lenglei to come back. Um, so th there is there is still um, opportunities um, for these players to shine. I think everyone gets a, a decent amount of football, but it was it was great to see Perisic play. I, I thought he, he had a decent decent game, um, and it, that's probably the biggest call out that Perisic came in and had a had a good game. A um, couple of good crosses in there, like I say, the flick on for for the goal. Um, Richarlison coming in and and having a having a good go and and showing um, some some drive and determination was was good to see. But you know we'll um we'll, we'll move on and see where we go from here. Results are going in our favour at the moment. As I say, Man United not doing very well. Chelsea losing again, uh, losing to to Leeds. Big shock. You know West Ham, Man United. You know all these all these um, other teams. I mean even City drawing yesterday against Newcastle. That's a big that's a big result. Liverpool drawing a couple of games. You know they're all big results. And if we can keep churning out our ones, all you want to be is on to the next one, on to the next one and keeping it going. So I'm going to stay positive um, and and, uh, and and keep the faith and, and see what happens. This could be a good year for us, let's, let's hope. And the Premier League never ceases to amaze with some of the results you see because, you know, some days, some days a, a team's going to run away with it and then other days they come up against a team that you wouldn't expect them to lose against and they do or they draw or whatever. So, yeah. The Premier League never ceases to amaze. But yeah, we'll move on. Up the Spurs. 